Hello again everyone, Dflex here, Fur but Fair Gaming. Want to bring you a video on how to level your alt. Uh, leveling alts is so quick in this game. Actually, gearing alts, I should say. It's not leveling. Gearing alts is so fast in this game now. It is great. It's made easy. And this way you can play multiple characters and still enjoy the game on different characters. There is a couple things you will have to have done. On your main, you'll have to have the Zareth Mordeth uh, campaign done. You will have to have Unity unlocked, and you'll have to have your one of your covenants to 80 for this to work really well. And you also have to have a bunch of materials on it, as you'll need Soul Ash, Soul Cinders, and Flux. As you can see, I have a ton of all of it. Um, you know, I was playing this character for a couple seasons, so I do have a lot, and I do send a lot, but it is very quick, very easy to do. We'll start out at the Enlightened Quartermaster. The Enlightened Quartermaster has, if you have a lot of uh, Flux and you want to use your Flux instead, you can use your Flux. This will give you enough Soul Ash and Soul Cinders uh, to make one 291 Legendary. But you will also need the Pouches of Wonders, which changes your Flux. So, if you want to do it this route, you'll need 6,000 for both Legendaries for uh, Soul Ash. And soul Cinder, so you need 6,000 Flux, plus you will need another 4, which is another 6,000 here. So you're going to need 12,000 Flux just to do it strictly in Flux. So it is a possibility to do it that way. You can do it. Otherwise, you will need 4 of these pouches, which is 6,000. And then you'll go to Corthia and switch out boxes for Soul Ash and Soul Cinders, depending on what you have more of and depending on what you want to farm more of. Uh, while you're in uh, ZM, though, you can take the flight path over to this section and go to the relic. You will need about, I think it's 1,200 of the Sandsworn relics, and that will get you 246 gear on your alt uh, and use it for tier. So you can strictly right away have your tier piece. 246 gets you all four sets of uh, the four set tier piece, so you can start off with tier piece by just having the Sandsworn relics. Uh, you will want to buy uh, from the auction house, buy your uh, legendary, so you will get 291 legendaries with that. It's uh, pretty easy to buy, obviously. They're very cheap now, now that the auction house is region-wide, and it isn't just realm-wide. So, the auction house prices, I see them anywhere from about 15k to about 22k, so still pretty cheap for all of that. And you can definitely, definitely get uh, 291 gear for only max 44, 45,000 gold, which is very cheap. If you want to do it the other way and use Soul Ash and Soul Cinders, that is a possible possibility as well. You'll need 11,000 Soul Ash, 44 boxes of Soul Ash. So you can buy it in lots of 20 by holding shift, right click, and punching in 20. That's the max you can buy at a time. You will need 44. Soul Cinders, you'll need 3,300, which is 14 boxes. Again, you can just punch it in, one, four, and away you go. That's all you need. Ship the Flux, the four pouches of Flux, plus the 14 boxes and four of Cinders and 44 boxes of Soul Ash over to your ult, and they can make both legendaries as long as you have your memory unlocked. Assuming you go to whichever memory you need. Again, this is my main, so I have them mostly all unlocked. But if you need one, find out where it is. Hover over it. It will tell you how to get it uh, when you don't have it. And so must be revered with the Wild Hunt and have Rune Carnage unlocked to get this memory. So it will tell you the location or the source location. And then go do that content to get it. Once you have made your double legendary, you've used your Sand Sworn Relics to get any uh, any tier piece you need. I'm assuming you don't have tier piece and you're a fresh level 60. Uh, you will also want to come to the vendor, which is beside the Flight Master, and purchase... May I tempt your renowned you 60. Increase round for six to level 60. That will give you a max round. You can buy it at 50 if you're still leveling. So if you're leveling, you're level 50, buy that right away. Because that will have you finish to level uh, 80 renown by the time you're done leveling. Uh, it's very good. I've done it multiple times. Get it as soon as you hit 50. 
and you'll be much, much quicker through the process. Uh, you's, you'll be max now with one covenant at the end of leveling. Now, I forgot also to mention, when you're at the Quartermaster buying your pouches, you can buy the 226 Conduits, which are right here, 400 gold, you can get 226 Conduits, and send them to your alt. Now, for any other gear you're missing, you have a couple options. If you have a ton of Anima, by all means, buy the 226 Anima. Send Anima to your alt, and you can pick it 500 apiece, gets at least 226 gear. Good start to get, and it will have your character up in decent gear score already if you don't have uh enough anima to send or if you already did that and now you're 226 with your four tier piece at 246 do m zeros m zeros will get you gear uh will get you easy gear but the only problem with m zeros now the only one you can run is tazabash market and it is the full dungeon to get gear not a lot of people want to do that hopefully you can ask some guildies if they will run you through that because there's some great gear in taz of Ash. otherwise uh do the taz of Ash or get someone hopefully to get you through an m0 and you will be able to then use your key and queue for m2s so hopefully you can get maybe some people to carry you through but that will get you 262 gear to start uh when it drops and hopefully you'll have enough in your area your guild your friends that will help you carry that through and get you give you the gear at the end so that is the fastest way to get alts you'll be 262 and you'll be able to do the majority of the content once you spam enough of those m2s and hopefully they'll want to do that with you because it gets some valor in the end and valor is always great this season because there's no cap if you have any questions on this, uh, leave a comment below, like, share, subscribe, check out the Twitch and the Patreon if you want to support the channel. And once again, Deflect, Firm But Fair Gaming, we will see you in the next video. And I will just fly over to show you where the Sand Sworn Relic one is, just so you guys have a idea. You can take the little Flight Master. And then again, don't forget always to kill um, whatever boss is up. So this is uh, Sepulcher uh, faded this week. So that means Antros has a chance to drop 285 gear for you. So don't forget to kill the world boss in the section of the faded area. Big chance for 285. Definitely worth doing. And then also all these uh, rares drop 246 around. So if you're still uh, not full 246, definitely kill the rares. But the dungeons will be quicker if you can get a farm group together. And the Relic Seeker is what you're after. Check out what they have. And these can be converted to tier pieces. So whatever you buy here can be converted and this can become your tier set. So check your ults, check your mains, check any other characters. You might have a ton of Sandsworn Relics lying around. And that Maybe will be the fastest way to gear your alts. Again, Deflect, Furbifair Gaming, we'll see you in the next video.